vibing uh, I'm vibing to this song uh, I don't know why but I'm vibing to this song this one features a flex and I'm getting Rockstone she's been pushing in the background I'm happy that uh, she's getting noticed finally <laughs> Bobby East is in the studio right here um, how are you doing? How are you? How I'm alright. How are you? I am tired, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you are tired. I am tired. It's, mm. been, uh, it's, it's been quite a process, you know. Yeah. Sleepless nights, just uh, making everything, making sure everything is okay. Even just small things like the mix. The one day I'll tell the story of how difficult it was just to put this album out. But for now, I'm just I'm a little tired, but I'm I'm good. I'm I'm in a really good mood. I'm happy it's out. And that the people are listening. Yeah. You make it seem so easy. Uh, this is this is a conversation that I have with a couple of artists. Yeah. That you guys make it so easy. The process, mm. all these features, mm. uh, the production as well for you. The process of making this album. How long did it take you? The songs on here that are like three years old. I mean, uh, a vast majority of them are quite recent. To be honest with you, I just. Um, I said, um, there's a few songs that are maybe like from three years ago, but mm. the vast majority of the music, I started working on it um, like last year. I did three camps with my boy Witty and then we, we, we brought the album together. Nice. The title. Yeah. Uh, the artwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super creative. Uh, the first thing I, I noticed about it, uh, maybe you can explain yeah. more in details. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's so many layers to this artwork, you know. Um, there's the whole component of like it being poetic and it, it being like I wanted it to be an album that people could go back to and listen to. Um, I didn't want to make a lot of songs that were, um, I don't know how to say this, uh, that songs that was too super trendy or a song that will hit you there and then. Like I wanted uh, music that people go back to and listen to. That's why I'm on that wall and there's a child looking at me. Mm -hmm. that, that child just symbolizes like hopefully future generations looking back mm -hmm. and just listening to the music. The child also symbolizes my son, who is like my biggest inspiration for, for, for doing this work, you know what I mean? There's so many layers when you look at it. Um, even just uh, the attire in, in was inspired by African royalty and whatnot. We just wanted to make something that was timeless. Mm. Seems like people really missed you a lot. Uh, we've been seeing that uh, apart from music, you've also been trying to push your brand. Yeah. Uh, I, I remember I attended one of uh, the private uh, listening for Slab D. Yeah. Uh, I love the brand. I've just been seeing it on social media, but yeah. I had a feel of it. Of uh, let's talk mm -hmm. about it as well. Yeah. Uh, what inspired you and also basically the information about the brand that people need to know about it. Okay, so um, in me stepping away from music, I started um, my entrepreneurial journey, you know, and uh, the first business that we, we've done is Ultra Liquor. Uh, we have a store at East Park. We do events, we've got uh, savers, we've got um, mixologists, just the whole shebang. Um, the whole thing is to try, and um, there's a huge chunk of the percentage of the alcohol that's in Lusaka that is really, really fake, or should I say Zambia. A lot of it is fake, and people are getting sick, and they don't know why they're getting sick, and we just wanted to introduce like original products onto the market. So with Ultra, we do not compromise on the originality. Everything that we have is original. The experience is dope. Um, our workers, I'm sure you met some of the young ladies and our mixologists. Everything is just supposed to be different. Mm. But the biggest misconception that we have when people hear where the store is, when they walk into the store and they, they're like, ah, it must be expensive. No, we're actually very, very reasonable. Mm. The difference in pricing between original alcohol and, and fake alcohol isn't that big and people would be shocked. The only reason people do in the fake alcohol is because it's more easily accessible. That's all. Mm. But the prices are pretty much the same. Okay. Yeah. You mentioned about uh, events also organizing. Yeah. Um, so with events, we don't really organize events. If someone is having an event, it, it doesn't matter what it, what it is. It's a kitchen party, it's a chiranga mlilo, it's a, it's a concert. They just hire us to do bar services. Mm. Yeah. We should get to find out more in details about that. But for now, we're yeah. still on your album. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned saying I'm going to be playing them some top five songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to leave it up to you. Let's start <laughs> it right now. Uh, Ten minutes past the hour, 14 in the afternoon. And still having a conversation with uh, Bobby East. Later, we should get over, open some phone lines, maybe three calls to come through. And uh, ask any question. But before that, let's get to play you this song. This is a song that's trending. That's uh, it's getting amazing feedback. Yeah. Uh, let's get to play this song. I remember your maps shared something some couple of months ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so how the song came about is um, 
you know maps and i have had a long working relationship you mm. know uh, since the days of season young and whatnot and when we were, i was doing this album we were like no we need to do my idea initially was just to have upcoming and new artists on the album mm. but i was like this is my boy let's let's do one so i remember this session we had um we did like maybe two three uh songs and then both of us were like okay let's go home and listen to the songs and then let's see what he went home i went home we listened to the songs and we were like he called me i was about to say it and then he said it was like big man my name was here many ads people expect a lot when you see you and me on a song together i was like you are right he was like ah instead of me trying to uh, rack my brain trying to maybe um do a new song can you maybe come over to the house so that we listen through some hooks that i have or maybe there's something you might like there. i was mm. like okay cool i went to the house and he played me like maybe 10 records there's two that i really liked this one was one of them and i was like no i think you would fit really really well on this one so he only had like a template beat and whatnot i got it i took it home me and witty chopped up the beat fixed it added the verses and yeah the rest is history nice. so that, that's how come there's a clip of an earlier version of the song online mm. but um yeah that's how songs are made sometimes guys it's not all the time that people are in the studio together <laughs> sometimes you send a hook oh yeah yeah let's get play the song right here on the jeff lunch in case you've been listening to it playing right here on the jeff lunch on joy fm from his uh, brand new album and we're still having a conversation with uh, Bobby East right yeah. here on the Jeff Lunch Weakness <laughs> ah this song mm, few days already getting amazing feedback uh, how does it make you feel as an artist mm. knowing the fact that uh, a couple of songs are getting appreciated from your album yeah um it, it, it makes me feel good um, like listen you never know um how how the music is going to be received when you're in the studio you're just doing your your best to make music that you like cuz like i said as long as i like the song and i put it out whatever happens after that happens i am grateful for all the feedback i've gotten just uh, especially like the phone calls so many phone calls with people talking about and some of the songs they are talking about are deep album cuts you know what i mean not the songs that i think of like this one when i heard it like this is a single you know but there's like deeper album songs that people are listening to and that that, that means a lot to me you know and uh with this one it's to be expected this max is is trending on on TikTok already but yeah. <laughs> okay. it's maps man what can we say <laughs> yeah. i saw you on social media saying you should hold on dropping a song uh i like 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 yeah. like no hold on 
<laughs> don't drop anything yeah. yet. I'm about to drop my album. And uh, people made, made a big deal of it. That, that, was, that, that was a joke. My, my, my is my friend, you know what I mean? Um, with music, I believe that quite okay if um, you're going to drop the same day as, as Maps or, or like anyone who's like really, really big. Um, you're going to split the numbers a little bit, but I feel like there's enough ears to go around. Like a person can't listen to one song or one album the whole day, mm-hmm. you know. In other countries, they've got uh, uh, Drop Fridays, and then they'll have like whole bodies of work, five albums dropping in one day. And eventually people, quite okay, they might not start with like you, but they'll get around to listening to the music if it's good. Mm-hmm. So this whole debacle that I started, this whole argument that I started about, oh no, don't drop on this day, you drop on this day. I think it's unnecessary. I think people should be free to drop whenever they want to drop. You concentrated so much on your business some couple of months ago. Yeah. Uh, were you at at some certain point like of a stage where you're working on an album, then you have no idea on how people are going to receive it? Yeah. Were you at that stage where you're even thinking, saying, uh, people on social media, uh, there yeah. are so many critis- critics yeah. criticizing on albums. Yeah. Uh, were you at that point where you're even scared, saying, uh, should I drop it now or maybe whatever that's going to happen, it's all good? I think as artists now, we've kind of like, like, like with Zambians, we know our crowd, you know what I mean? So as artists now, we, ju- we just know that it doesn't matter who drops an album there's going to be criticism or there's going to be... So you need to have the thick skin for it. For me, I believe that whether it's love or it's hate, that happens within the first maybe week or so of an album dropping, is... is I'm not taking the, the... I'm not making the love make my head grow big and I'm not letting the hate make me feel sad. It's because the music is new. You know, uh, back in the day before social media, when I first started doing music, you had to wait for a song to grow on people, you know. My Fionpo Bells was out for five, six months before I ever heard anyone ever say, oh, I like the song. By the time it blew up, it was almost a year old, you know. The other records had dropped at the same time, um, Going Higher and, and Um Toko Fionpo by Francia were way bigger by then. My song was the last one to blow up. And that was because it, it just needed the right timing, the right settings. I just feel like with the advent of social media, everyone just wants to have a quick opinion about everything, mm. you know. Um, I remember, I always go back to that post because I once, when uh, Mabs uh, dropped um, his last album, I loved it from the beginning. I was like, oh, it's such a good album. And I, I got excited. I went on social media. I was like, oh, it's such a good album, blah, blah, blah. And the majority of the comments that came on my page were like, no, you're lying. It's why. It's horrible. It's it's why, 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 why. And right now, people can argue that that's a classic Zambian album with so many hit records. So, keeping that in mind, you, as an artist, you always have to be like, trade carefully. Don't allow the love to get to your head. Again, don't allow the hate to get you down. Sometimes people just need time to listen to the music. It's a 20 track album, you know, you gotta be patient. Mm. Now, let's talk about you making us emotion. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm kind of a bit off. With yeah. you saying this is going to be your last album, yeah. Even my tone of my voice is changing right now. <laughs> did, you, did you like mean it? Was it a stunt? I know you trying to make a uh, uh, like clarifying, giving all yeah. information on social media, yeah. saying I respect my people yeah. so much for me to to do a stunt for this. Yeah. Were, yeah. were you like super serious about it? At first, I, I debated within myself for a long time whether I should announce. I knew it. Um, my close friends. My, my family, I told my family, I told, I was like, yo, um, I really just want to... Because even when it came time to do the album, I couldn't be at my other job, my other work. I was like 100%. I'm very one-track minded, you know. It's very difficult for me to like multitask. And sometimes it gets burnt out, you know. I always thought, uh, from the beginning, if people can dig up my old interviews, I always said, as long as it's fun and I feel motivated when I wake up in the morning, I'll rap until I'm 70. But when I feel burnt out, like um, going to the studio is a job, like I'm pushing myself to do it, then the music won't be as authentic. You know what I mean? So I just felt that deeply in my spirit. I was like, I'm burnt out. And I'm motivated. I've got one more left in me. That's what I said. I've got one more left in me. I'm motivated to make it the best one I can. But after that, um, yeah, guys, it's not like I'm, I'm going away. <laughs> no, but, but, but people want more music from you. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's emotion. At the end of the day, I get that, and I get, a lot of the calls again have been complaining badly. It's like, nah, you can't, you can't. But I really just, I was like, I, I, w- I want to get excited when I wake up in the morning and go for work. You know what I mean? So 
I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of soul searching on what my next purpose should be. And a friend of mine asked me that, they were like, so now what? I was like, that's a good question, I don't know. But when you have a plan B, then you kind of like, the plan B is a safety net. Sometimes you have to quit while you don't have one. That way it will force you to make a, a different plan. Yeah. The next song I'm about to play is uh, Remember My Name. Yeah. Is it also coming from the, the conversation that we're just from having? Without a doubt. Okay. Without a doubt. Um, I really love this song. Mm. It's one of my favorites. I, I know I'm not supposed to have like favorites on, on my own project, but it's one of my favorites. And um, shout out to Chewe. We wrote this hope together. And he came through. And he, he was just supposed to do reference vocals because I wanted all the artists to sing the song. Because I was like, Chewe, you're dope, but you're not le yet a legend. So I wanted to get like someone older to sing. But the way he did, did it, the, the emotion in it, I was like, you know what? You are a future legend. I'll be, I'll let you be on the song. Mm. Yeah. Let's go play the song right on the chair for lunch. Still having a conversation with uh, Bobby East right here. Yeah. And this one is a uh, chair with not forgetting Chameleon. Yeah. No need for the intro. Came through and I ran my race. I've seen them come and I've seen them go. I give God the praise. When they turn off the lights on me and I leave the stage, promise me that you remember my name. Think I see on it up on radio, 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 radio. Saiba, Tina, Saiba. Think I see on it up on radio. Don't forget me, yeah, yeah, walk. I wanna leave the stage while they still clapping God forbid, but I need the has been When the kids blow up, it's like I'm really jealous It's a hell of a drug, I'm kinda famous I pray I have grace just to step to the side And only pop up just to mentor and guide When you cuts blow up, when you to move on Remember the name and remember the song That's B-O-B-B-Y Yeah, he came from Tunga, but also fly, uh K Figo told me I fell off, but I get money still chopped like jaw of mid man. I'm a legend in the game, Mid came through and I ran my race. I've seen them come and I've seen them go. I give God the praise. When they turn off the lights on me and I leave the stage, promise me that you remember my name. Because they only up my radio, 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 radio. So in case you haven't uh, streamed this album, you've been missing out. I'm getting emotional. I was even telling Bobby East in the background saying, uh, why can't you just change your mind? I was asking that question deliberate, <laughs> hoping for an answer where he's going to say, no, it was just showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> or something else. Now, I wonder if you can find out from you. That, yeah. that, that leads me to the next question. I'd like to find yeah. out from you. You are and you have been the CEO for XYZ. Yeah. Uh, this is something that I'm sure I'm not just the only one who wants to get find out this. What happens if this is your last album? Yeah. What is next? So, um, first of all, I'm honored that this being my last album uh, is on XYZ. XYZ for me, is it, that wasn't a purely business decision. It was an emotional one as well. Because, you know, Slap is from material like I am. And what he did, I tell them this all the time, like what he did, the movement that he started, all the kids were hyped. All the kids wanted to be like... There was G-Unit in America and there was XYZ in Zambia, you know what I mean? The movement was incredible. And it's a thing that I feel like should outlive all of us, you know? Um, even with, with Slab doing his album and me doing mine, the, the next focus should be the kids, Zane, um, you know, um, Elisha. All the new acts and everyone knows that we're going, we're going to find. Um, th that should be like the, the, the focus of this whole thing. What next for XYZ? Um, Listen, because this album is under XYZ, as an artist, I'm still signed to XYZ Entertainment, you know. Um, concede, uh, in regards with my role at XYZ, that's uh, a conversation that Slap and I will need to have. And we'll see, we'll make an announcement soon. But before this uh, decision, did you have a conversation with any of the, like, sit down, have a conversation saying this is my decision? Yeah. 
And how was their response? <laughs> The, the thing is, with anyone who knows me, they yeah. know that once I say something, then I've thought about it. Like, it's it's pretty much, like, it's almost impossible to try to convince me mm. otherwise. And that's why when I said, none of my real fans were ever skeptical when I said, yo, this is, they just said, oh, nice run. Because I've told them from the beginning, I was like, guys, I'm always going to tell you the truth. I'm always going to tell you the truth. So it's going to, so my, my true day one fans, they know it's like, oh, no, you wouldn't make this up just to, like, get some streams or something. Like, they know how... I try to be as authentic with them as possible. And mm. when I say something, I've really given it a lot of thought. Yeah. Yeah. And also, other things that people have been asking, uh, Slap G left you his album. Yeah. You left him on your album. Yeah. Was it one of the things that you just felt like doing? It was intentional. He, he told me, Let, let's, let's go a little bit in different directions and try to throw the people off a little bit. You know what I mean? I feel like we've made so much music over the years. Um, I, it was going to be too expected. People are going to be too expectant of such a record. So on this one, we both just sat down and were like, you know what, you do your thing you, and I'll do mine. But obviously, we were under the same label, so the creative process on our niche, like he was listening to my stuff, I was listening to his. Mm. Yeah. Other things that have been trending on social media is you uh, firing shots at a certain rapper. <laughs> <laughs> it's been on the streets. It's been on the street. I'm asking for the street. Yeah. I'm asking for the people as well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's, who's let's, been staying in Lusaka for 10 years and they still rip, represent another city? Uh, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, let's talk about that line. Uh, maybe let's, I'm sure I'll be one to find out. Let, let, let's get into it. So what's, what's the question? What's uh, the, like like that, that line. Was Ooh. it uh, was it was it um, a diss directed at a rapper? Yeah. Look at me and look at me. Well, like I said, I do a lot of things, but I hate lying. No, it was not. Um, for me, you know, uh, th that's the thing. Like, do you know how old people are always saying whatever they want to say? Like they've got no decorum. Like they don't hold on anything back. Yeah. And then when you ask, they're like, no, I'm about to die anyway. So uh, why why keep anything back? I'll tell you everything. This being my last album, I was like, I'll say whatever I want to say. And I'll, as long as it's the truth, I'll say what I feel. The song is not a direct diss to anyone, any particular rap or anything like that. I would just get really offended sometimes when I am talking to people or when I'm on the socials and people are always, the only thing they ever have to say about Lusaka is negative stuff. You know what I mean? It's always portrayed in a negative way. Hey, you guys play that side, or you guys are Casanovas, uh, other people do this, other people do that. And I kind of feel like even Lus people based in Lusaka started buying into that narrative to the point where they were not proud of where they are, where they're from, you know what I mean? And I was like, I'm, I have to do one Lusaka anthem just to make give people that pride, to tell them, yo, listen, we're not as bad as people make it sound. If we, were, if we were that bad, no one would come and relocate and come and live here. You get what I mean? It gives uh, people the opportunity to thrive. In writing that song, I had no particular one rapper. In, in It wasn't even... You could be a cleaner, for I care. Or someone else who relocated from somewhere. It could be a cleaner. It could be someone who works at an, an accountant, whatever it is. I'm just saying, yo, when, when you're here, stop dissing my city. That's it. <laughs> That is all. Anyone who reads too much into that, I don't know what to say to them. Okay. Right? But yeah. But I'm sure you'll be seeing what social media has been thinking. So what has social media been thinking? <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it like that. But I'm sure I've come across something on social media. Nah. I, listen, what has social media been thinking? I'm not... I'm not they're making posts. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not scared to address anything. Yeah, they're making posts. Uh, mm. They think you are talking about uh, Chef 187. Some are even saying... Uh, could be Maki too. Some are saying some copper belt people mm. that relocated to Lusaka. No, it's not about none of those guys, none of them at all. If anything, Maki too was supposed to be on the album, you were supposed to be on uh, the song with Chewe. Mm. So it would be a really um, bad move to diss someone and then uh, put them on your album. Mm. No, the song I made the song in general just to tell people to respect my city. Mm. That is it. If I had any problems with the gents that you've mentioned, I would I would say their names. I've never been scared to mention their names. Nice. Yeah. A rare song that is on my playlist is this song right here. I feel like this one uh, needs a challenge on TikTok. Let's do this. <laughs> this one. I'm 
Collabo and also uh, the couple of Queen in it. I couldn't, I couldn't, leave, I couldn't leave them out, they're my neighbors. So yeah. they were listening to the beats, and I was like, No, we're jumping on one of these. I was like, Ah, mm. like I said, I really wanted to only have like new artists, but like a few other ones snuck in. Zavin, <laughs> <laughs> I consider relatively new, so she was cool, but Nez, Nez, ah, he snuck in there. Yeah. Him and Maps, they snuck in there. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about imagine this album mm -hmm. becomes one of the biggest albums in yeah. the country yeah and uh, people just want to see you perform at events yeah let's try to picture that and yeah. uh you say this is your last album can, 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 can we leave room for maybe a change of mind somewhere you know with, with events and doing an album like this i didn't do this album on my own i've got collaborators on this so they they get paid if the album does really really well so performances is some of that so i can't uh, rule out doing performance, but it has to be the stage that I've reached. It has to be the right performance. I like having my band with me. I like having a sound engineer. So if we're gonna do any shows to promote, I, I would like for them to be like shows that when people pay, they feel value for money. You know what I mean? Um, like I said, my door is not complete. I'll always be in. And you know, I named the the name of the album is artistic, but it is also like. When I was at the store the other day, someone shouted, but Robert, you know what I mean? And it's it's clicking in my head now that, oh, people will transition from calling me Bobby eventually and start calling me by my government name. And that is just preparing myself for like uh, being in like everyday stuff, just doing everyday stuff, everyday that stuff that I couldn't do when I was in music. Okay. Why is it that with growth, so many artists that we've seen come in, and mm -hmm. with growth, someone just decides to say, no, I don't want to do these things yeah. anymore. I just want to be a responsible family guy. There's a time in a man's life, at some age, say, usually I think it's between 28 and 35, where a switch comes on and you're like, oh, I'm not young anymore and I need to start acting a certain way. There's a problem when that switch doesn't come on. They were just me, dad, I want to be a man. <laughs> so two songs that I want to get to share with uh, the public out there. The next two songs, Goodbye and Spirit. Very emotional songs. Uh, let me play a snippet of the songs so that we get to find out your story behind these two songs right sure. here on Joy. Moyo ni wakosa nga uchoka kweni chokela Vena ona mvaba kulu sima sovela Ati tender age, but ya diva na piamu Mami should have missed him cause mabeva na konkamu At 13 dine mwana wa masie Ninkala na vahanta pede gadba sanisie Mambiri bakoli wa chwana run from the truth Mabi ukuli wasi pray for the ghetto youth My only sense of hope i chokela kusikulu Maybe one day tizaka nonka kubukulu Until one day ntieko sam Think but break a police body panja straight bullet in my neck and I never got to say goodbye to the world I once knew goodbye to my homie from the hood goodbye to the ones that I love or even just to tell them that I see them another day no goodbye to the world I once knew goodbye to my homie from the hood goodbye to the people that I love or even just to tell them that I see them another day if I had known, I would have stayed home. What I got here, gas money, pony, la mutom. Movie, the wale, money, can't give a coupe, man. Jalum funa mulo, nishi chongo chili pan. I remember my name, yo. First bus, say it out loud, uh uh, don't whisper. Wish it how come? If I nani sunk, I didn't wanna go. I didn't wanna die, and I never got yeah. to say goodbye to the world I once knew. Never got to say goodbye to my homie from the hood. Never got to say goodbye to the ones that I love, or even just to tell them that I see them every day. No, goodbye to the world I once knew. Goodbye to my homie from the hood. Yeah, like I 
Cloud Media. It's a boy. I'm feeling it. Stash in the bed. Bitch, I'm waiting to give you some pizza. Yeah. Vanilla Rock. Spirit. Spirit. Lead me to my own love. Girl, I need you cause I'm falling, falling. I need to hold you once again. Wow, wow, wow. It's only true, you, 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 you. Oh, 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 only yeah. true. One fact to keep, I love you still, I do not sleep I pray when you visit my memories You wear a smile when you think of me Growing up in the hood, life wasn't easy Always knew I would make it, believe me It was you who told me I could do it Yeah, I love you like I love the music Oh, I love you like I love my mama And if I could, I could turn back the hands up Tama, to when we met, what a beautiful summer Yo, unani konda neze di benda lama, ayy Ni zamu uza Gabriel Na pachalo balipo wangeli Yo, don't cry when you miss me Play my songs and I swear you'll feel oh, my spirit. spirit Spirit Lead me to my own love Only Girl I need you cause I'm falling Falling I need to hold you once again Wow, wow, wow it's only true, you, 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 you. Oh, only true, you, 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 you. Oh, only true, you, 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 you. Get make me whole again. Emotional songs. Yeah. Uh, I would like to hear from you uh, the Josie Goodbye yeah. and the Dave song Spirit. Now yeah. let's have this conversation. I'd like to find out these songs. Why these songs? Yeah. Um, with, with Goodbye, you know, when I was talking about the songs that are older, these two are older. I think they're like the older songs on the album, you know. With Goodbye, I wrote this song in the exact year when all of this was going on, you know. I told her. Uh, the story of from the perspective of um, Frank Mugala, rest in peace, from the uh, perspective of, of, of Vespers, and, and also like um, there are so many um, victims of that gassing incident, but I just like I put the story to make it about one person, you know what I mean? And for me, it was just to show when someone is gone, they can never tell their, their story themselves, you know what I mean? So. I had to sit down and look at things from their perspective. I had to sit in a room somewhere and imagine I'm this young lady and I'm being choked up by tear gas, you know. And it was an emotional roller. And I remember when I called Joseph, I was like, I want you to come and do this song. It's called Goodbye. I want you to, the hook should be like this. So he writes the hook, but he doesn't know how deep it is. And I do the verses like, ah, well, big man should have warned me. This song is too, it's a depressing song to listen to, you know, but it's not all the time that we have to make people uh, jump and whatever it is. Sometimes we have to tell real stories about things that happen. Um, who are you as an artist if your music can't impact people? You know, when I posted the snippet for this song, I just saw um, a lot of tags with um, a young lady who was related to Frank and she was tagging all oh, our relatives and she was like, wow, look at this, they've told uh, our brother's story. And that meant a lot to me, you know. It, 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 it showed them that people didn't forget and also it, it helps us try to avoid the similar situation in the future because the death of that young man was unnecessary yeah um with goodbye goodbye i sometimes when i'm creating a song i'll do a skeleton of the beat myself at home 
all I have is the chords and like the drums and I'll take it to the stash and I'm like, can you finish this beat for me? So the only thing I had to play for Dave was, was a skeleton for that song. And up until that point, I've been trying to record, like me and Dave have got so much music, so much music, you know, and finished here, an idea there, an idea there. And I had the skeleton of this beat, I told him, Dave, I, read, I want a love song on this. He's like, oh, say no more. And he sang it. And he was like, I was like, I was really confused by the message of the song. I told him the, the, the melody is beautiful, I just don't understand what the song means. And he looked at me in the eye, I'll never forget this for as long as I live. He was like, Big man, we are performing, the girls are crying. I'm like, ah, I don't know, bro. I put the song away for a while because I didn't know what to do with it, you know. When I heard it the second time, I was like, sometimes maybe the human spirit knows what's going to happen, you know, somehow. I've heard so many stories about how artists before, they, they just start acting a different way when they know that maybe their, their time is, is, is limited. Something else that he did on this song that he really did on any of our other songs was that he insisted on doing a verse. Mm. I was like, no, I want to do a verse. I really, really want to. I was like, okay, cool, do a verse, bro. And I left it like that for the longest time. When I listened to it again, I was like, wow, I need, I need to add a choir to this just to give it that timeless feel and change up the beat and just take myself out of the, take myself out of the, the song and just consider it a deaf song. And consider it like a, uh, a goodbye from David to his fans, to his girl, whoever it is that he was trying to communicate to because it, it takes in so many things, so many layers. It's a love song, but it's also a song about loss. You know what I mean? So I couldn't write that song as, as Bobby is. The whole thing, I consider the whole thing a Dave song. I was just helping him say his goodbyes. Mm. Can we, can we get a move on? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say too much. Uh, I was even explaining my experience to you with Dave. Yeah. Uh, we don't want to, <laughs> to talk too much on those regards. But yeah. let, let me try to pick up maybe two calls just to get far enough from them. Uh, you who was listening right now, you can call me up. We have Bobby East. We have a few more minutes to go before we get to call it a wrap. We're just doing uh, an album preview uh, right of the, today's edition. What song are you listening to? Is there any question that you'd like to find out from him right here? So it's your 977-165-743. Coming up and uh, any question that you'd like to find out from him today right here. The phone lines are officially open right now. Call us up. Let's get you here from you. 977-165-743 or 953 right here on Joy FM. Quick on night. Quick on night. Quick on night. But before, before, before that, someone wants to call in right now. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, Hello. Ah, Joy FM. Ni wanda I just want to very, very true. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I said, Okay. 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 Cheers, okay, thank, you. thank you very much for coming through. Zero nine seven seven one six five seven four three. Call us up. We're speaking a few calls before we get to call it a wrap on today's edition. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yes, boss. At brunch. Boy, no boy. Boy, no boy. No At brunch. Good brunch, Mumbo. Ah, okay, you're gonna have a Bobby East, but Joy Pan. We're gonna have some videos. Ah, I tell you, big one of the names will come. You can't make sense. Is that you? You need to have a big man. I'm very happy, you know. 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 I'm very happy, you
Right here, we have 11 more minutes to go before we call it a wrap on today's edition. We're still having a conversation with uh, Dave Walker right here on Najo FM. Robert, hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you doing, sir? I am good, thank you. Great. Your name and where you from, sir? Uh, this Okay. We have. Uh, I, I don't even know now how to address. You, do you prefer your government name or your AKA now? I, I don't. It's, it's whatever the people want. Okay. Right? But now I don't mind people calling me Robert. It's cool. It's my name. Okay. So it's about Robert, but Joy FM, but. Uh, yeah. Yes, Chief. Yeah. Uh, Your line is kind of breaking. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand. We, we can't really get you. Are you able to get us though? Yes, I'm. Yeah. Yes. You, you. You are saying what? I'm saying. I'm okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. What's your artist name, Big Man? Sorry? What's your artist name? Uh, uh, do, do you have any music on, on YouTube? At one time? Come to me. Come to me. We're texting as in the same Come from Z. A M K U N G U. Yeah. K M. Okay. Ah, to say so is To say so is Akira. If I want my name to say 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 I will send you to, to, to Okay, thank you very much for coming through, sir. Let me pick up no. one more call right here on the Jeff Lunch as we call it a wrap without today's guest. It's going to be our last call for today right here on Joy FM. 0977-165-743. Remember that you're able to call me up and uh, get to ask our today's guest any question. Any question that you'd like to find out from him. Not yet, I'm comment on my social media. I'm going to visa V, Chabe. Visa V. Hello? Thank you, Dr. Matthew. I ain't got no worries. Till today, ah, my brother. Okay. Uh, Mr. Bull. Yes, Chief. No, we'll push. I right. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, Baby, you are Bobby. To, to Alicia from what time to what time? Uh -huh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We we, we yeah. had an hour just playing Bobby Eats' song. I, I I didn't want yeah. to say anything. You the album Amazing, amazing, amazing. amazing. Ah, no, 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 Ah, uh, muntu mene ama full names here no. Depende kwa tuma ticket. Mara mkuu mkuu tamba kama mumi pasta kwenye kwa. Okay. Forgive me, forgive me that information. Go watch any movie of your choice. Thank you very much. 
Okay, okay, I did. Okay, all right. Thank you very much for coming through. Uh, right. So that's what I did last week. That's uh, amazing. I even forgot about it. That, that, that's uh, on amazing. A Friday. That, that's amazing. That's amazing, bro. That's amazing. That is love. That is love. See, I'm, I'm happy I came here. PMC supports the local arts, bro. Mm. And I've, I've told you this before. Like, you know, the passion that you've had for Zambia music is just embedded in you. They can't take it away from you. So, um, even as I was doing the interview schedule, I told the man, oh, yo, Queen, my brother, we need to go and, and show some respect, show some love. Really appreciate. Mm -hmm. Maybe in your remix, uh, some people were not locked on. I don't know why people are still sending messages asking the same similar questions that we yeah. are asking. But maybe in your remix, yeah. Uh, what would be your, before you get to say your remix? My last question, mm -hmm. uh, and also you give your remix is, what would be your advice to an upcoming artist upcoming with your artist. experience? Yeah. Uh, how the industry operates? It's what a journey. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Think about all of that stuff. My advice is so Zankala check cliche, Zankala. Firstly guys, enjoy making the music. Enjoy them if you enjoy making the music we'll be able to tell. Like um, make music that is relatable to you. Musa panga love song now, wapanga love song. It needs to be something that you, you feel in yourself. If you're not a gangster rapper, don't pretend to be a gangster rapper, you know. People can always tell when you're telling the truth or when you're lying. So for the longest time for me, I've always said this, it's just the truth that has stood for me. Um, one fan was even laughing, they were like, um, in a kind of noise of people on the party, I'm going to change my body on the chair, I'm going to come back to you. should see that it's happening for real, you know, and, and that made me feel happy because I was like, oh, the people are listening for real. So all the new artists, please um, be authentic, be true to yourself. Please do not become arrogant. Do not take anyone for granted on the ladder that you meet. Anyone who's going to help you, uh, you know, the presenters, the DJs, all these people are valuable. The fans, it doesn't matter who the fan is, whether they're CEO or they just work somewhere in, in what you'd consider a small job. Be respectful, be kind. You know, it's not all the time that you can manage, second it out once, but it's the job that you chose, you know, it's public relations. So. Learn, learn, learn to be cordial. Sometimes you can just make a person's day by just shaking their hand and smiling for them. Ask them their name, and and, and yeah, make the most original music that you can. Mm. Yeah, it was great having your conversation. I felt like this was the conversation. Uh, I'm sure some unanswered question have been asked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but you know, I'm glad. I'm glad we had it today because now you could we could have this conversation after you listen to the album. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Thank you very much for coming through. I appreciate it. Uh, wishing this, you all the best with the <laughs> more. More things that you're working on. Yeah. Uh, wishing you all the best. Can't wait for the time that you're going to be doing maybe your last show. Yeah. And, and I don't know, maybe this year. I don't know this what's going to be happening. This year. Uh, <laughs> but I also pray that you become a mentor to other artists. Of course. Just to share your knowledge with of them. Course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Let's go play this song, Amen. Amen. The last track in your album. Yeah. Uh, Francis Music Choir. Yeah. Amazing song. Amazing song. I found Francis on TikTok and I had to find his number somehow and I was like, I need, you have such anointing, I need you on my album. Nice. Amazingly, I've, I still haven't met him in person. Okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How we started it. Dead album is done. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We did. Dang. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Even at my lowest, when times are hard, the sky is dark, I worship you. All of physical, nearly critical, still raise my hands and I worship you. I was naked, you got me dressed, I will proclaim and I must confess. When my name is dirty, I borrow yours, thank you Lord, I worship you. 